George Osborne, remember him, he's railed against the possibility of Rishi Sunak scrapping the HS2 line to Manchester, branding it a gross act of vandalism. The former Chancellor warned the Prime Minister that axing the Northern Leg would amount to an act of huge economic self-harm. Ministers are due to make a decision this week, with Sunak said to be determined to reduce or abandon the project to save up to £34 billion. The only part of the route currently guaranteed to be constructed is Birmingham to Old Oak Common. And that's still 10 kilometres short of London Euston. The Prime Minister is also facing criticism from Northern and Midlands MPs who claim any scale bag would fail to level up the country as promised. An outraged Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, said that he'd been completely left in the dark. Nobody can deny that this is, this is huge for, for our part of the world. But at the moment, we've been completely shut out of the conversation. Uh, briefings to newspapers and rumours and... And we're just left in the dark, even though we've been working with the government for more than a decade to try and make this, uh, this, this work. I do find this absolutely extraordinary. So we spent all this money and, rightly or wrongly, the huge amount of infrastructure works and, and money to compulsory purchase and plan and all the engineering and everything else has been put in. If, for any reason, they allow the train to start at Old Oak Common, 10 kilometres or six miles outside Euston, mm. then that is an utter travesty. Yeah. And if they don't finish it so that it goes into the centre of Birmingham and it ends up in some shed outside, again, <laughs> travesty. And also, this levelling up agenda, frankly, they should have started the train building in Manchester. Yeah, definitely. And Probably. they should have built yeah. east to west at the same time. Absolutely. And then brought it back down to London to say, this is what we mean by levelling up, this is what we should be doing, and this is how to make a, a real infrastructure project work. The only thing I would say, though, also, is we're on all infrastructure projects. We, the British, seem to be very sceptical until it's done. Channel Tunnel, everybody hated mm -hmm. it until it opened. M25, everybody hated it until it was opened. I still hate it. <laughs> same, <laughs> but that's just because it's going to come back to cover. <laughs> but it's the same with, you know, Crossrail. Took forever, yeah. Elizabeth Line, now it's open, everybody goes, how, how amazing. Yeah. HS1, same thing. So we've got to invest in our infrastructure. It's old, it's Victorian, move on. It's not about... 10 minutes quicker. It's about capacity, it's about improving our infrastructure. But please, this, you know, this is an act of... No one cares, music. though, if this uh, railway line to Birmingham goes into central London or central Birmingham. That's beside the point. The point is, is if we end up having spent uh, the best part of 60 billion quid mm. on a railway line from London to Birmingham, uh, that will actually, if you analyse the complete journey after completion, will take you one minute longer than it takes right now. Uh, what what on earth was that money being spent on? An absolute white elephant, a scandalous waste of money. Yeah. Uh, we keep, people can say, oh, no, it's terrible. They've, they've cancelled the Manchester part of the line. Well, they've already cancelled the Leeds part. Mm -hmm. So this was supposed to be a Y-shaped yeah. backbone connecting all of Britain, and we've ended up with a completely unnecessary short railway track from London to Birmingham uh, that is pointless, unnecessary, unneeded. What an absolute scandal. It's, it's I think pointless it shows again. The extension. It shows again. Well, no, that... nobody needs needs to get to Birmingham slower. Well, this thing, it shows again how Westminster is out of touch with yeah. the rest of the country, yeah. essentially. Yeah. No one who lives in the north of England is desperate to come to London so quickly. We've got to have more trains to come to London. What they want, as you say, is the connection yeah. from east to west, west yeah, to east, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you say, Kevin. This is a travesty. Sunak is now going to have to say to people, I'm saving money for the country and putting more money in your pocket by stopping this. But then if he says that, it also shows he doesn't, he doesn't actually care about uplifting the North and levelling up. But the thing is, he clearly doesn't care about levelling up because, like you two have so rightly said, and I hate going with both of you, but the most important <laughs> part of HS2 not was to well. connect... The, and you. Uh, I'm probably definitely definitely not well. agreeing with you. But the most important part <laughs> of, the of HS2 was, to, collect, was con to connect those northern cities where rail fares are stupidly expensive, mm -hmm. where the trains are Victorian, where they haven't run on time since the Victorian times. <laughs> That's what HS2 should have been all about. Forget London. London doesn't need to be part of that because we yeah. have connections from Manchester to London, Birmingham to London that are decent in the first place. It's all about levelling up. But remember Rishi Sunak did say that he was taking money from, you know, those levelling up communities and putting them yep. to poor communities and, you know, like Fulham mm. and Chiswick yep. where they're really struggling. Reversing you... the formula that Labour set out. Exactly. Yep. So it's clear that Rishi Sunak does not care about levelling up and this is another example of it. Yeah. Well, nor do the Labour Party I, I do care think... about levelling up because they, they are going to cancel it as well.
well, they've well, already Well, but said. That's, that's what's interesting politically about this, because, in fact, Rishi Sunak has handed Keir Starmer an early Christmas and birthday present wrapped into one, because they now, the Labour Party, can just say, oh, uh, well, you know, we probably wouldn't have cancelled it, but, you know, it was already cancelled by the time we came mm. into power, so we'll, well they've just already indicated, so though, Daisy, they've it... already said that they... That they yes, they said but they won't get pre preempted Rishi by saying they might scrap it, they'd have to look at the costs. Just what Grant yeah. Shapp said on the media rounds this weekend, it would be crazy of us not to look at the costs. Not... Well, for about since 2006, <clears throat> lo lots of us have been screaming at this government, look at the costs! <laughs> don't, you don't understand. <laughs> it's it's the election. It and does <laughs> strengthen Andy Burnham's case, though, that if he wants to lead, uh, lead the Labour Party. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does. Don't make and that actually, mistake. The, the latest insiders are saying it's looking like it's more like a hundred billion I by the end. Yeah, for, for HS2.